emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper with the Comms Prepper Helper. Hi, Preppers! And we're out here to retreat again, putting the final touches on our solar power project. Here's the pure sine wave inverter mounted in the crawl space. And we've come up with a permanent solution that allows me to interface that solar power into the retreat's main circuit breaker panel. So we'll hop out of the crawl space here and we'll show you how we accomplish that. So the power from the inverter follows the floor joist inside the crawl space there on regular house wire and comes along to this outside waterproof outlet. So right there is my solar power being produced by my inverter and batteries. And how I interface that into my house for electrical needs is I made a custom cable. I bring the power up here and I plug the solar power system into the manual generator transfer switch. That's a Reliance Pro Train transfer switch. It's a plug there where you plug in your generator. But now I have the option to use a generator or connect my solar power into the transfer switch. From inside the house at the transfer switch, I can choose which circuit breakers are running off of commercial power or solar power or generator. So we'll go ahead inside and I'll show you how that works. Okay guys, so we're inside. There's my disconnect from my solar panels. We're putting out about 12.7 volts out of the panels. It's late in the evening and the clouds are out, so I think we're done producing energy for the day. Of course, that feeds my Xantrek C35 PWM charge controller, and that output goes out to the battery box. Now the inverter outside that I showed you in the crawl space is plugged into my manual generator transfer switch plug. And that's my manual generator transfer switch there. So now I'm taking power in from the solar power system. I can choose, I can prioritize where I want to use solar power here in the retreat location. Now this is a smaller switch so I had to prioritize. I get six breakers to choose from and we went through our circuit breaker panel and pick the priority breakers that we'd absolutely have to have in the event we lost commercial power. So we selected those breakers and now they run through this generator transfer switch. Now if you can see here it says line which is commercial power coming in from the power company. There's a center off and then above that it says generator. Probably just should just say outlet, the outlet outside because I could plug a generator in or now I can plug my solar power system in. And then I prioritize those breakers, like I said. So here, we'll give you an example. The first three breakers do our overhead lighting in the different rooms. So now I can go from commercial power to solar. In this room here, we'll put it in the off position. Now we have no power. I put it in the solar. Now we're getting power for the lights here from the solar power system. And then the lights out there in the living room. Now I can prioritize what I need. Maybe I don't need all this solar power in these other rooms. I can shut these off and then I can just, let's say, run my air conditioner for 20-30 minutes to cool off a room. Or I can run the refrigerator for 15 minutes an hour and shut all these off and turn those breakers on and put that on solar power. So using the generator transfer switch to select where I apply my limited energy resources provides a lot of flexibility. Now this is what I did at my location. If you're going to do something like this, of course, practice safety. Know your own building codes and your building laws where you're at. And if you're not sure, consult with a licensed electrician if you have to in your state. Uh, this is not so much a how-to video. This is just a video to show you how I did it. And I've made some mistakes along the way. But that was my idea for solar power here at the retreat location, is to take advantage of the transfer switch I had previously installed for the generator to choose a la carte what circuits I want to run on solar power. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with an update on the final touches of our solar power system. Bye guys.